Why don't we start by removing the hood? Enjoy the rest of the world. That's better. Uh, uh, Charlie, that pillow is purely decorative. Good. Now you can breathe. So, let me start again. What are you afraid of? No. Feeling like this for the rest of my life. Should I be concerned about that, Charlie? I don't know, all right? Last session, we talked about how my parents caught me in Home Depot looking at rope, so... This isn't a laughing matter, Charlie. Well, I don't know how to laugh, Dr. Seaman. It's Seaman. Look, I'm gonna write you a prescription for a low dose of tricyclics to supplement your current SSRIs. I didn't do this to myself, you know. I know. But we'll talk about when I get back from Machu Picchu in a month. Month? Yeah, but if that black cloud comes around and starts circling your head again, don't hesitate to call 911. And, and would you please call my office so we can log it in? Should I call 911 first or should I call your office first? Stay positive. Take your medication. Avoid any and all unnecessary stress. Slippery today? <laughs> Dude, that's a good thing. You forget. That's a good thing, man. All right. Go. What? Talk. What do you say? That's pretty much it. It what? That uh, people can't change the world, so here's some more random pills? They're not random, okay? They're tricyclics. Tridiclics? <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Come on, man. Ten to one, your precious Dr. Seaman doesn't even know that the universe is just like a giant feedback loop, all right? You know, smile molecules and something about resistance and, you know, it's called a Hindenburg uncertainty principle, all right? On the other hand, if you walk around like a dude who just shit his pants, then guess what? You know what? Oh, I'm not hungry. What? Just forget it. Oh, what are you? Oh, because of science? Yeah. A perfect thing that I argued to stay here. It's like, <laughs> un un unbelievable. What? What did you just say? Okay, well, I wasn't gonna do this now, but um, my parents think that it is a good idea if I move home. So. Well, that's a horrific idea. At least they're trying to help me. Oh, I know what, I'm not? <laughs> oh, what, did I say something funny? I mean, no offense, Miles. It's just, you're a Craigslist roommate, all right? You think everything is like awesome because we share a Costco account and every now and then we order Thai food together to meet the minimum delivery charge. Hey, right. dum dum, come, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah like, like that with your <laughs> oh, stupid no. jokes, your moronic theories. I mean, come on, man. Chaos theories. They have a name. They're nonsense, Miles, okay? And, and the whole point of this is that I'm not okay, all right? I, I, I'm getting worse and you just, you don't see me, man. <laughs> I don't see you. No, you don't. I, I don't. What the fuck? Jesus man. Christ, dude. Don't even worry about that, dude. It's just a fucking sticky trigger. <laughs> All right, let me see. Where are these shiny new pills? Get, gonna, what, you, oh, there they are. What are you doing? Get off of me. Come on, dude. Stop. You're acting like a child. Take you to the nursery. Give them to me. Get off. I just want to see them. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh. 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 You got a bad batch, man. I detest you. you. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, buddy, that's just a mental illness talk. Dude, Jesus, I'm kidding, man. Look at your face. It's hilarious, man. Just leave me alone, all right? Stay away from me. Oh, come on, man. Hey, you can't outrun progress, Seriously, buddy. Seriously, do, do not come in my room, all right? Just leave me alone. <sighs> and now I have to go back there and tell them that I don't have the medication? How am I supposed to do that, all right? What am I supposed to do, okay? I can't then do don't. that. don't. But I need something, okay? You ignorant, just 
Fuck me, I told you not to come in my room, and now you're in my room, and I don't like it. Yeah, well, I think I'm reading your mind. Well, obviously you're not, because if you were, you would spontaneously burst into flames. Oh, poof. All right, my turn. Now, when's the last time that you saw Ocean Sunrise, dude? Say it with me. No. Yeah, Ocean Sunrise. Say it with me. Say it. Ocean Sunrise. You know not. what? I am going to move home, and I'm going to delete you from my contacts. I'm going to unfriend you. I'm going to stop following you on Twitter, and so I don't have to see any of your stupid blog about philosophies of the Buddha. And the best thing is that there's nothing that you can do to stop it. GPS says two hours 40, which gives us a good two to three hours of bro out before sunrise. Oh my God. Hey, I am willing to take off the shut up tape. If you follow a few cool rules, can you be fucking cool and do that? No, continuing. Yeah? Okay, no shouting, no lecturing, no telling me what you're gonna do or how you're gonna call the cops or any boring shit like that, capiche? Ah, fuck! Fuck, man, the fuck, why the hey, hell? Hey, if you can't say anything nice, don't help say me. anything. Stop okay, help you done? Me. Because it's right here. No, no, fuck, no. When's the last time you were even outdoors for a sunrise? I don't know, I, I can't remember. Do you see? It's no wonder. What's no wonder? The shrinks, the pills, everything. Yeah, well, I'm glad that you have my life all figured out. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? <laughs> Not being able to itch that little nose of yours? Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's really fucking funny. It's having clueless idiots like you or Natalie tell me that all that I need to do is, you know, get out more or make friends or the all-time worse is stay positive. Oh, God. That would be annoying. Yeah, it is, okay? And you know what's ten times worse is toilet flushing my medication and kidnapping me to watch a fucking sunset. Sun Fuck. Sunrise, dude. Sunrise over the ocean. Because why? What, you think that's gonna magically cure my desire to slit my wrist with a box cutter? Yeah, I think about it, man. Uh, look, I even bought a plastic sheet so that I wouldn't leave the world with such a mess. That's gross, dude. Yes, I do think that that would help. That, plus getting some plants, maybe like a Chinese fighting fish, oh, uh, chinchilla. Okay. Yeah, that's that's funny. Keep making jokes. No, hey, You'll zero see. jokes, dude. Chinchillas are super soft. Yeah, yeah, just you wait. Okay, yeah, you wait, because when it does happen, you're gonna you're gonna remember this. I want you to remember this moment right here, right now, and I want you to feel very responsible. Oh my god, very responsible. Tennis skirt and wispy sideburns. You could fucking give birth to yourself the way you talk. Fuck Listen to you. Why, man? Why did you kidnap? Just let me out. Just let me out of here. You know that I have a sensitive fucking what? Heart, soul, little vagina. What? <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so I know this may not be the perfect time, but there is a Bubba's Burger like a mile up. If my treat, if you're down for a couple double Bubba's animal style. Sounds gross. Really? Yeah. Well, I think I'm just most shocked by the fact that you're offering me to pay. Yeah. I mean, I'll totally pay you back. Yeah, that's more like. All right, let's go. You're not moving very fast. Wait for me. But, so, Big Randy, you know, not known for his subtlety when he's had a few, he comes storming back in, like, literally, like, <laughs> throws the scalding hot fries back at this total smoke show counter chick. I'm like, fuck, Dad. I mean, throw it at Creepy Captain drive through Anyway, so, the security guard, you know, tackles my dad. They do some sort of like Greco-Roman wrestle off. Whole time my dad is, you know, cursing about the fries not being crispy. <laughs> Little limp potato dicks he's yelling all this in front of like half my 10th grade English class. Mm. I'm pretty sure that was the event. Or it could have been when he, uh, took a shit in the target aisle. Then my mom gave him the ultimatum, which of course he vetoed and, well, now he's six feet past drunk, so. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Can I have 
have some fries, please? No. No. Cool. Come on. <laughs> you, you know that makes you gay. I'm just saying. How do you do that? What? Make jokes right after talking about your dad dying as a lonely alcoholic. No. He had plenty of strippers and debt collectors keep him company. Yeah, like that. How do you just... Do you want to know how? Because I learned early on that we get back exactly what we put into the universe. Life threw hot fries back in his fat, greasy, angry face. Makes it happier for you to believe that than just... Yeah, fuck yeah, it makes me happier to believe that. I mean, I would rather that than let some poor me bullshit ruin my one life on this earth. <laughs> That's pretty selfish, don't you think? Did I not just, like, spend an hour hog-tying you? Plus now, driving six hours round trip to take you to the beach. What part of any of that is selfish? Uh, all of it. Every single part. Because, you know, I didn't ask you to do any of this. Yeah, well, I'm not the one talking wrist cutters and how freaking Rain Man hard it was to hop on a bus and go make puppy dog faces to score more meds. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Yell, cry, spit at me. But I disagree with your little Dr. Cum stain in that I believe it is part situational. Yes! Dude, that's exactly what I told him, all right? I think we both know who's to blame. You, Charlie, you. What? No. Yeah, dude, look, sorry. Not about backtracking through my yesterdays, much less yours, to find out where shit went fucko. Come on, man, you know exactly who I'm talking no, about. No, what I do know is that this shit stream of life doesn't stop for anyone. And you can just wallow in it and become a shit-covered boulder You're if that's shit all you want. Boulder. Or you can find a way to stand up and shake shit off, man, because if there's one thing that I know about being happy is that it's not something just lucked into or handed over to you. Here you go, Charlie. Here's happiness. It takes hard work. Just stop the car! Throw open the bag. Just stop the fucking car, Miles! You kidnap me? Fine. Duct tape me? I don't care. But don't ever imply that I don't work to be happy, because I work at it every single fucking day, and I still hate every day even more. Dude, I know. I get it. Do you, though? Do you know what it feels like to really want to give up for real? Sure. <laughs> Well, obviously you don't. Oh, dude, you know what? Fuck you, Fuck dude. me! Fuck you! Oh, yeah, you want to talk about limp dick french fries? About shitty life deals and fucked up parents? Yours, mine, everyone? Well, why do you have a knife, Miles? Do you enjoy sleeping 18 hours a day and then popping pills for the other six? Yeah, do you like smelling like a fucking uh, bed? I'm not okay with this, okay? I'm serious. Yeah, no, and no I'm way. more serious, okay? Stop acting like somebody other than yourself is just gonna jump in and save you, because they're not. All right, not mommy, not God, and certainly not Natalie. She's gone. You need to commit to being happy like it's a full-time job, okay? If it's raining outside, go play in the fucking mud. All right, you, 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 your cat dies, get a fuzzier one. There's no chicks at the wedding, guess what? Dance with the grandmas. You lose your job, go like the fucking Rockies. Your girlfriend fucks your former best friend. You disown his bullshit no-name forever ass, and you trade her in for one without a fucking lisp. I liked her lisp. Oh, God, fuck that fucking Martian! I'll kill you, you fuck! Yeah, Ri Christ. you're gonna kill me? You're gonna listen to you, man, when there's so much fresh goodness just running around drinking little coffees and little yoga pants with hipster glasses just like you like. What? What are you talking yeah, dude, about? Dude, I know, I seen your search history, it's your thing, that's cool. What? Fucking untie me, okay? Just untie me already! Are you committed to being happy? This is a fucking felony! Just please, please, please. I will fucking untie you, but are you or are you not committed? Okay, yes, okay, I'm committed. Yes, please, please let me out of this fucking thing. All right, fucking... Just hold still and shut up, and otherwise you're gonna get cut for real. All right, option one is we hike down that hill right down there to the beach market. We get some beers and maybe some wasabi almonds or Oreos if we get some IPA. And then, you know, we hope that from there, maybe like 10 minutes tops to the beach. Option two is, um, I finish cutting you out of this adhesive fuck fest, and then, uh, instead of thanking me, you, uh, freak the fuck out. In which case, I'm giving you this. <sighs> because there's no in-between, dude. I mean, either you forgive and forget everything, including the, the Bubba's Burger debt from earlier, 
or you just stab me right now. No, 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 I know, I know exactly what this is. This is Miles' way of avoiding responsibility. Oh, no. That's exactly what this <laughs> is. No, dude, do it. Double do it. You, oh, you want me to stab you? Absolutely, I'd rather that than you be the same shit-covered boulder I'll, that I drove for I don't... Do it, fucking stab me, come on. Do it for, show some grit, Chucky. I will, do it. Yeah, show some teeth, do it, do it for I Natalie. have to stop that right now. Do it. Come on, do it. Wait, okay, wait, 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 yeah. Wait, Charlie, hey. <laughs> I was that was solid acting, dude. I'm not acting. No, come on, man. You creeping me out now, man. I mean, it seems like you would really. I'll do it. Give me the knife back, Charlie. Oh, now you want Just it back. The knife. You want it back? Here you go. Fuck out of this. Yeah. Charlie Butterfly emerges from his cocoon. You want to know a secret? You didn't flush them? Nope. I don't understand. Because apparently tricyclics are good to help balance you out from what I've read. From what you've read? Yes, Charlie, I can read. <laughs> OK, uh, what else have you read? That it is important that I let you know that I heard everything you said about how hard it is uh, for you to fight to get through every day. That and apparently Pornhub is becoming a, 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 a pornopoly, breaking antitrust laws. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Seriously. Check it out. No, I don't need to see no, any. Just check it out. Look. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> There, that's the one. Look at that. Yeah. The pills didn't do that, man. I mean, I'm not saying that you don't need them, you know, just for a little extra push, but they need you more than you need them. You know, brush your teeth. Get out of your room, talk to strangers. Sit in the sand. It's cold. Feels good. Yeah, man, because we're creating our own universe, man. Miles' way of seeing strikes again. No, my way of seeing sees one friend, that's, yeah, that's right, a friend, telling another friend that he is loved by the universe. Yeah. That's how it works, buddy. Wait. Shh. What? Can you feel it? Feel what? The Sunrise app says that we have about one minute until the brand new day. Holy shit. I'm actually kind of excited. Giddy up there, Earth. I just realized something. What? Kit Kats? No. Dude, we're on the West Coast. Meaning that the sunrise is behind us? <laughs> Fuck, dude! I never would have kidnapped you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It just means that next year, this time, we will just go to the East Coast. Yeah? Yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch it. Yeah, buddy.
Have you ever heard of dog parks? Something, yeah. Like what, where they just play and stuff? Like if I, if I had my own dog, I could go to a dog park and it wouldn't be weird and there might be girls at the dog park. Uh, yes, there's tons of chicks at dog parks. That's exactly right. And forget about the dog. You roll into a dog park where chicks everywhere, you got this soft ass chinchilla in tow okay. on a leash. Well, Boom. Okay, well maybe maybe if it's like not a chinchilla, but like a dog and I and I could use that as like, you know, like, "Oh, my dog would love to meet your dog." That sounds a lot this easier. This is a good this is a good path that you're on. I'm trying but to... girls are going to be flocking to you with that chinchilla, getting their hands all over it. Next thing you know, they're in your hair. This is it. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm just, I, I want to meet a girl, like a nice girl, and I don't want to scare her away with the chinchilla. I, I, first of all, I don't even know what a chinchilla looks like. What is yeah. it, what does it eat? It's uh, <clears throat> like, I think green, like nature. It's it everywhere. Nature. Yeah, trees, leaves. Oh, good. I, hey, uh, PetSmart, I'm looking, do you have any nature here? My chinchilla is hungry. You don't have to ask for nature. That's the thing about it. Look, I'm going to help you. I'm going to, I'll help raise it. I know what I'm doing. What about a dog?